Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center. And I would like to teach you how to do this uh, trick using the gumballs and the silks and the duff pan. Alright, so, what I've done here, um, actually, I'm going to get Dodo's pants, because that's a very important part of this. Alright, so first and foremost, uh, Dodo picked them out of his pocket, and he picked out every uh, color gumball, and he put them into his pocket, and then reached them one by one to pick out colors. Now that was a force, and it was used, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but his particular type of pants has a kind of a second pocket, like a, a change pocket, if you will, inside there. If you can see it, let me get this out. Alright, right there. Alright, so inside this change pocket, what we've got is a yellow gumball and a green gumball. So that was how he was able to drop all the gumballs into his pocket, but one by one pull the gumballs that he had already chosen out of the change pocket. So you could actually kind of do that with uh, jeans or any, any uh, pants that have a change pocket on it. And it just kind of came up with that for the camera. What, what, we'll, what we'll do for, uh, for the kids is do a uh, magician's force and have them like choose, you know, you come up, choose a color, you come up, choose a color. And then based on their choices, move it so that they end up with green and yellow as the choices or whatever it is you want to end up with. Now, so this is the end of the trick, so this is the best place to start backwards from, okay? So what you want to do is you want to have your Satan silk, or you can use a red silk or a red handkerchief or anything that you want to symbolize as uh, Satan, or you can do sin, it could be black. There's a lot of different ways you could make it, but you just want it to symbolize something that says that they're no longer with Jesus, they're not with Jesus, okay, they're with something else. And all it did is take the gumballs, laid the silk in your hand, in your hand and put them. Yeah, you can also do this by just laying it over the, uh, the bowl. Now this is of course a dove pan. And a dove pan, if you have one, you're going to know how this works. You're going to know that it's it's got um, loads that you use. And uh, so you could do it this way. You could do this with uh, a change bag if you wanted to. There's, there's a couple different ways that, that obviously you could do this. But uh, there was, this is twofold, as, as in why you use the, uh, the silk to wrap these up. Keep dropping gumballs. Anyway, so you get all the gumballs into the silk and wrap it around because what you want is for this to be able to move without too much noise. Okay? Now this, isn't, this actually isn't bad. Because if I have, if I don't have the silk, this is the noise I get. So this is hidden inside of here, in the, inside the lid. You know how to use it up and you know this. And what you don't want to do is pull this out and have this racket going on. So that's why you take your gumballs and wrap them up into the silk. And wrap it, you know, make sure that it's kind of puffing up so that when it when it opens, it'll look a little the same as the other one. So you just get this, get it into the load so it's in there. Alright. So that's off to the side. Then you've got your Jesus silk or maybe a blue silk or white silk, any, anything you want to use. It doesn't even have to be a silk because it's going to disappear, okay? So anything you want to use that symbolizes Jesus. And then you've got your gumballs in the bottom of the tray, okay? So now we're back at the start of the trick. And so you pick out your gumballs, you have them get to the point where they're, you're going to make sure that they pick green and yellow or whatever it is you want them to choose. I'll use two colors because I had so many different colors and I just thought that would be a little better. And uh, anyway, so you, you get the colors chosen, 
Then you talk about how the ones that are chosen are the ones who did not accept Jesus, because those are the ones that are going to be left. All right. So then Jesus comes, and you get Jesus in there. Make sure when you put him in, you want him to be puffing out, because otherwise it's going to look funny if, if he's all pressed down, and then it, the other one's sticking up. So make sure it's puffed out. Just kind of put it in there, and it should puff out anyway. And then you take your top, and remember we've got that silk in there, so you can kind of hear something, but you're less likely to, okay? And so, and of course, yes, that can always cover it up. You can always, if you had too much going on here, pick that up and shake it. Anyway, so then you take this, put it down. You're going to talk a little bit more. You want to bring attention away from it. And then at the end, you pull this up, and it kind of looks the same. At first, you're gonna, they'll, they'll, they might look at this and they'll think that it's exactly the same because there's a soap poking out just like there was before. But of course, it's a different color. And so then you reveal that that's the Satan silk, and that within it are the two colors chosen. All right, so that's that's pretty much it, guys. Enjoy it.